The beginning of sin. Now the snake was the most clever of all the wild animals the Lord God had made. One day the snake spoke to the woman. He said, Did God really say that you must not eat fruit from any tree in the garden? The woman answered the snake, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden. But God told us, You must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden. You must not even touch it, or you will die. But the snake said to the woman, You will not die. God knows that if you eat the fruit from that tree, you will learn about good and evil. Then you will be like God. The woman saw that the tree was beautiful. She saw that its fruit was good to eat and that it would make her wise. So she took some of its fruit and ate it. She also gave some of the fruit to her husband who was with her, and he ate it. Then it was as if the man's and the woman's eyes were opened. They realized they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made something to cover themselves. Then they heard the Lord God walking in the garden. This was during the cool part of the day. And the man and his wife hid from the Lord God among the trees in the garden. But the Lord God called to the man. The Lord said, Where are you? The man answered, I heard you walking in the garden. I was afraid because I was naked. So I hid. God said to the man, Who told you that you were naked? Did you eat fruit from that tree? I commanded you not to eat from that tree. The man said, You gave this woman to me. She gave me fruit from the tree. So I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What have you done? She answered, The snake tricked me. So I ate the fruit. The Lord God said to the snake, Because you did this, a curse will be put on you. You will be cursed more than any tame animal or wild animal. You will crawl on your stomach. And you will eat dust all the days of your life. I will make you and the woman. Enemies to each other. Your descendants and her descendants. Will be enemies. Her child will crush your head, and you will bite his heel. Then God said to the woman, I will cause you to have much trouble when you are pregnant, and when you give birth to children, you will have great pain. You will greatly desire your husband but he will rule over you. Then God said to the man, You listened to what your wife said, and you ate fruit from the tree that I commanded you not to eat from. So I will put a curse on the ground. You will have to work very hard for food. In pain you will eat its food. All the days of your life. The ground will produce thorns and weeds for you. And you will eat the plants of the field. 
You will sweat and work hard for your food. Later you will return to the ground. This is because you were taken from the ground. You are dust. And when you die, you will return to the dust. The man named his wife Eve. This is because she is the mother of everyone who ever lived. The Lord God made clothes from animal skins for the man and his wife. And so the Lord dressed them. Then the Lord God said, Look, the man has become like one of us. He knows good and evil. And now we must keep him from eating some of the fruit from the tree of life. If he does, he will live forever. So the Lord God forced the man out of the Garden of Eden. He had to work the ground he was taken from. God forced the man out of the garden. Then God put angels on the east side of the garden. He also put a sword of fire there. It flashed around in every direction. This kept people from getting to the tree of life.